There's a lot of uncertainty, of course, about what's next as we see cases now starting to rise. But new data from a North Texas hospital is making predictions for the future. Reporter Aaron Jones spoke with some medical experts about the findings. New data from UT Southwestern shows once again COVID-19 cases are on the rise in both Dallas and Collin counties, the 30 through 50 age bracket most impacted. Hospitalizations are also up 18% since early October, but still numbers remain significantly lower than what we saw back in July. That is the primary uh, metric that we look at because that's the most accurate and timely data that we have available. Dr. Mujib Bassett, Associate Director of UT Southwestern's Clinical Information Center, says this real patient data has allowed them to make predictions for the months to come. In Dallas County, total COVID-19 hospitalizations are predicted to increase to 270 to 540 cases by October 23rd, and in Tarrant County, 380 to 700 cases. In both counties, it's also predicted there will be a slight increase in patients being admitted into the ICU. If you just drew a straight line from what we've seen in the last two weeks, you'd get a pretty close approximation in the direction that we're going unless we do something to change. Dr. Bassett says what happens in the future will depend on human behavior, how often North Texans are wearing masks, social distancing, and staying at home. Right now, preventative measures are estimated to be 61% effective in Dallas County. If that percentage grew to 68% effective, it's predicted we'd see less than 100 new infections a day by next January. We need to really emphasize that personal responsibility so we can continue to benefit from the things that we have started to re-enjoy. In Dallas, Aaron Jones, CBS 11 News.